This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. You join me at Sutton Scottish Services. Uh, I ain't got my watch on. It's about half past seven in the morning. Our truck is parked over there. I've got a phone call coming in. Okay, don't know what you got up to, but um, yeah, so I'm in Sutton Scotland Services, um, southbound on the A34. So there she is, located just over there. I do have new floor mats though. They're not quite fitting 100% if I'm honest, but yeah, new floor mats down here as well, driver's side and on the passenger side. Um, really nice can't seem to get them to fit properly like they go quite a bit under here already um but i feel like they're almost too big i don't know i need to have a play of it to try and to try and fix it but yeah they're pretty cool anyway where are we going to today so we are going to petworth first then we're going to lose and then we're going up to um gravesend i believe so we're going to Chandler Building Supplies in, in Petworth. Been there before, we've got 25 bolt bags of uh, topsoil. Then we're going to nip down to Lewes. We've got 12 pallets for them. It's a, it's a garden centre, I think. And then we're going to nip back up to Remix, I believe, in Gravesend to get loaded with some Remix for Bristol for, uh, for Monday morning. Uh, you may have noticed we are on a curtain side today, not a flatbed. Uh, reason being is because yesterday I had to do some storage boxes, which has to be on a curtain slider. And I've just, you know, I haven't had the opportunity to swap back to the flatbed, so that's why I'm on curtain slider today. I'm hoping I'm back on flatbed next week because I do very much prefer flatbed work. Um, it's just easier, I think. So we will, we will see. Anyway, I'm going to crack on to the next destination. We are an hour and twenty minutes away. Hopefully, we can get both deliveries made and get up before they close. It, yeah, that could be an issue. We may not have time to actually go get the collection if we're held up anywhere, but we'll cross that line once we get there. Let's head to Petworth. I'll see you in a little while. Right, we are about a mile and a half away. Got to go slow around these corners because there are other trucks coming the other way, like this. So we've got to be careful on the left because we've got trees. We're a bit taller than that skip. Let's go around. Um, yeah, last time I come in the other way, but I come out this way. So I've been down here before, but I had a flatbed on last time. Just got to be careful. Some of these corners are a bit, a bit sharp. Go around here. It's all clear. Well. Clearish. Oh, we've got a fire engine here. You let me through. Make sure we don't hit the fire engine. Uh, I didn't see what happened there. I think he's just broken down potentially. Well, it must be on fire. <laughs> I don't know. Bit of a, a rubbish place to have one, though, isn't it? I was asked in my last video, does the truck wash want to my video? No, they don't. So uh, that can go. <laughs> Pay for advertising. <laughs> um, yes, if you want to sponsor me, truck wash, feel free. I'll put your uh, your logo in my videos for free truck washes. If anyone knows I'm there. Anyway, well, yeah, we're a mile away now. I think that was the worst of it. Um, I think it hopefully opens up. ETA is still half past 10. We've got 25 bolt bags to come off. Time is, I think, somewhat against us at the moment. Depends how long we're here for. If we are, if we turn up here and there's other trucks that needed to be tipped, uh, need to be tipped as well, like last time when I turned up, then it could be an issue. But we'll see. We'll get, we'll get these jobs off. We'll get both of these off, no problem. And then we'll see what the time is and what time we can get up to Gravesend. Um, but it's looking like we might struggle to get there in time before they stop loading, which is like four o'clock or something. So 
but we'll see what we can do. Right, 0 0.7 miles, this is the home straight. Home straight, although it's on the left-hand side, we might need to uh, swing, out, swing out to get in. Can't remember. I remember that last time we come in, we sort of, there's like a, almost like a waiting area and then you reverse in. It's like a shared access route with, uh, I think it's Dudman's, I think. It's a quarry there. I saw a lot of Dudman's there anyway. So we will, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Heath head. There we go, Chandler's Building Supplies. Yeah, this one here on the left. Yeah, Dudman, I thought it was. We don't have to swing out too much to get round here, which is good. So yeah, look, there's a truck in there already. They got a, yeah, there's one in there already. We need to swing down here because we reverse in. And uh, yeah, Dudman's Park here as well, look. So I think we'll uh, we just position ourselves so we're ready to reverse in, and then um, let them know we're here. We'll just go back a bit. I think that'll do. We'll, we'll go let them know we're here, and then um, there's a truck in there at the moment. Once that truck comes out, hopefully we can go in, but. Yeah, it's not looking good for uh, collection. We'll try our best. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so, yes, as you can see, there's a, a day aggregate truck in there. Used to do work for them. Uh, we're just sat out here. Get out of the way of trucks. We're uh, just parked up over here. As you can see, we're ready to reverse in. Lovely, lovely. Someone's looking at the truck. So yeah, here she is. Been trying to keep her clean. We've got to get these sorted out because it doesn't matter how many times I straighten them out and get to the next destination and they're uh, they're upside down or twisted or something. So yeah, here's the truck. She's uh, she's pretty dirty in the week, but I've given her a wipe over by hand. The whole thing. So yeah, she's not looking too bad. Obviously, I can't reach up high. But yeah, she's not looking, she's not looking too bad, Jack. The wheels are still pretty shiny, as you can see. They could probably do with uh, another wipe over, but they're due. So yeah, unfortunately, it's a waiting game. I can't see me getting in any time soon. Not with one of theirs just turned up as well. So yeah, I mean, it's half past 10 now. I can't see me being out here within an hour, no way. So, but we'll see. Right. We are in. We've just taken off all the straps now. We've taken off all the ratchets. Got to go around the other side now and uh, undo the curtain and then um, roll up all the uh, all the straps. So that's what we've got to do now. Let's go around here. Lovely. And then we're just going to pull the curtain open. Is that enough? A little bit more. Lovely. Then we need my, uh, uh, let's pull this. Need my strap winder. There we go. Lovely. Right now we can uh, use this and do up all the straps. You get, you get covered in mud. I was just about to say. As I said that, <laughs> and in my mouth. <laughs> Love a bit of mud in the face. Right, all the straps are off and put away. 
we're using our good old trusted stick friend just to uh, open up all the ears as I call them which then makes it easier for the forklift to uh, just slip on through to take them off right two more this side that one and that one and then uh, we're good to go other side's done so we're going to uh, do the curtain up now uh, yeah if you just sign yeah sign the white one that'd yeah. be great Lovely, you thank you. Lovely, thank you very much. Have a good day, mate. Have a good one. Cheers. And paperwork signed. He forgot about it. <laughs> but never mind. Where's my tablet? There it is. I use my tablet as like a uh, paperweight. Anyway, engine on. Oh, God. Oh, I keep doing that. Go over there. Let's get down. Yeah, I keep doing this. It's my it's camera on my left. I keep knocking it. That's the first time I've done it taking off my hoodie, but I keep knocking it in the night um, with my head. Back on. Right, it's in. It's on, it's secure. Hopefully it doesn't hit me on the head when I was driving. <laughs> that'll be interesting. Right, microphone. Let's put you over here. Your smart speaker to play Radio 1. Radio 1. You can go down. Okay, right. We are on our way to our next destination. It's already in the sat nav. Phone on charge. Okay, let's go. Let's go, go, go. And there's a van coming in. I've just seen it coming in through the gate. Is he coming in here? No, he's not. Say boy to them. Got a truck. The truck just sort of stopped in here, but like that's where I need to be, and I'm probably where he needs to be. But I got nowhere else to go other than backwards, whereas he could go around there. Okay, right, we're gonna turn right. There's a car coming on the right hand side and on the left. This could be a pain to get out. If you start indicating now, mate, you're gonna do my edit. No, you carry on on. The van sort of started slowing down. I thought it was coming in here then to begin with. Come on. Still clear left, after this car we can go. Still clear left, still clear left, still clear left. All good. All good in the hood. Right, we can make our way to our next destination. We should be there just before one o'clock in the afternoon. Don't know how long we're gonna be there for. If we're there until two o'clock, it's pushing it for um, getting to our reload. It really is. We'll have to see. I need to get half an hour break in at some point. I might need to stop for half an hour break on the way up as well. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be really close whether we get to our reload today or not. Um, but not a lot we can do about that now. I wonder if those, uh, whether that fire engine is still there. Is that something in the road that that lorry has not seen? It's just gone straight over it. Uh, yeah, just a bit of bush, look. we go straight over it as well. The lorry must have seen it and realised it was a bush. He was a lot closer than me, so he could see that it was uh, something he could run over. <laughs> Whereas from where I was, it, I just saw an object. Just an object. I think the fire engine was coming up. If I remember rightly, it was on this next bend, which is the left bend. I think it's gone. 
yeah, yeah, that was the car. So the car's still there, but um, fire engine's gone. Doesn't look like there's been fire damage. Take a bit of this road up as the trailer was going to hit the uh, the barrier, safety barrier. Uh, so yes, um, we, um, we get, got to get around these tight few bends, and then uh, it opens up, and it's all good then. From then on, I did think I don't know if I said I did think on the way in that the road was closed. I saw a road closed sign, just said road road ahead closed. But um, yeah, we got here okay, so no biggie. Yeah, see this is a bit tight. If another lorry comes down now. One of us is reversing back. And then these trees sort of bow in a bit, like either side, so you gotta be you gotta be in the middle of as you're hitting your trailer on the trees. Don't want to damage the trailer. Certainly don't want to damage the truck. Just a few more corners and then we're out of this spit. And like I said, it opens up then. The truck's definitely coming in out of here because there's, where we just delivered, there's a quarry. So um, you will get Arctics come up and down here. So we don't really want to meet another one. All clear. So I'm already looking around the corner, so I know I can use the middle of the road. Okay, and oh, cyclist. Have we timed this right? Please don't be nothing coming. Check and right, nothing coming, overtaking me. Nothing ahead, we can overtake. We are still half loaded, so we are still pretty heavy. Uh, we were 41 tonnes when we left. So, um, yeah, we're probably still, I mean, 15 tonnes of that is us empty. So, we are probably still, I don't know, 30 tonnes, I'm going to say. Because we can carry about about 30 tonne, fully loaded, 29. Anyway, I'm going to go. I shall see you when we are at our next delivery point, which is a garden centre, I believe. Um, yeah, hopefully we get these pallets off quickly and then we can carry on. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. I'm sorry, the temptation's going to get the better of me. <laughs> I've been here before. I have been in this tunnel before. Right, we're only, we're only two miles away from our delivery point. But I've definitely been in this tunnel. Rings a bell. I've delivered around here somewhere. Delivered something somewhere. Round the roundabout we go. I'm still not sure on timings. Sat and I was saying if we went straight to Gravesend, we'd be there for half past three. There's traffic in Dartford. I need a half an hour break, so I put it to four o'clock, plus I need to get tipped here. I don't know how long I'm going to be here for. So that tells me I'm turning up after four o'clock, easily. And, um, well, if they don't take, or they don't load you after four, then I'm not sure what's going to happen. See, I think, I think I've delivered to another garden centre up here. Not this one that I'm going to. But another one. Banner in front is not indicating. What is this coach doing? You stay put, mate. Don't come out. 
he is a big boy, he needs a bit of room to get out of that, but I was going a bit, I was doing the speed limit, but if he pulled out, I would have had to have braked pretty hard. If I was a bit further back, I would have probably slowed down a bit more. Yeah, I'm doing 14 or 50, but yeah, I would have, um, yeah, it would have been a bit unnecessary slowing down for that. Right, so we do have a tractor in front of us. It's not going to be too much of an issue because we're actually coming off in half a mile. So we're not going to get stuck behind it too long. Of course, it might come off at the same road we're coming off of. But as soon as we come off at this road, um, we're pretty much there. Yeah, it'll be on our right hand side. It's quite a busy road. The, the left turn, so there's two left turns. The first one looks a bit sharp starting to get in now. If I slow traffic down enough, then they um, should be all right. Oh yeah, it's a lot sharper than I thought. This car needs to go. Um, what I was gonna say is there is also another left turn a little bit up the road which I can also make, but oh, the tree. But I want to come in this way because then it would be easier to get into the, um, into the gate, but I might go out the other way, you know? It's a bit, oh. There's no weight limit, height limit or anything like that, but it's, <laughs> the trees are a bit low this side. Didn't see this on Google Maps. Don't want to scratch my new truck. The only reason I come in this side is because I got to turn right into the gate and I thought this would give me a uh, a better access point but I'm definitely going out the other way hmm probably should have come in the other way next time I will if I ever come here again yeah, it's just here on the right-hand side now, the garden centre. So the customer car park is on the right here, where that car's coming out of. But we want to go into the gates just after it. That's the other thing. He did say go into the gate after the entrance, so he wanted me to come in this way anyway. Um, I ain't going in yet because I don't know. Watch me to drive in or reverse in or what? He said a forklift driver would be at the gate for me, ready. So, I just need to wait. I think it'd be better to reverse in. Hi there, I got a delivery for you. I'm just outside your gates. Just wondering if it's best to drive in or reverse in. I'm in an Arctic. Yeah. He'll be able to come down with the forklift. Oh, oh uh, so he offloads me from the road? Yeah, it's easier that way. Okay, yeah, no worries. All right, cool. Okay, I'll let him know that you're here. Brilliant. All right, thank you. Bye. Cheers, bye-bye. Yeah, so you heard that. They're offloading me from the road. It's easier. Um, I'll just stay put for now because I might need to move a bit more forward. I don't know. I guess he can do both sides from... I don't know. If he's got extenders, he can. It looks like a really quiet road. That main A road that we're on just goes like straight round. It's just like two left turns, like a semicircle, if that makes sense. So the only people coming down here are for, for the garden centre. But yeah, anyway, I'm uh, I'm going to go. I'll see you once we're, uh, we're out there and the curtains are open and we're getting offloaded. See you in a bit. Oh my God. Someone's just come out to me and <laughs> they said he's just gone to the dentist. He's going to be an hour. That's their only forklift driver. That's a new one. I've not had that before. Um, I now need to tell the boss. Right, we've been here for an hour now and um, still nothing, still waiting. It goes from being funny in a, it sort of goes from being kind of hilarious that that's the reason why there's no forklift to being extremely frustrating because now I'm just waiting around on a Friday 
Um, all that worrying earlier about going to Gravesend, I can't see that happening now. I think that's out the window. Uh, Shoreham is just around the corner, so we could potentially go to Shoreham Docks. Um, but I think even if we just go straight back to the yard from here, it's still like looking half past five. Either way, it's going to be, I think, a late one today, a late Friday, but we'll see. Um, I've done what I can do. I've got here as soon as I can. And um, it is what it is. I mean, on the plus side, it's an incredibly quiet road. I've had, I think, one car come past me in the last hour. Like, I'm tempted to have it saved as a place to park. <laughs> we see. There's a there's some wasps hanging around uh, in the bushes there on the left. If we do have to get tipped on the road, then um, I've got to be careful I don't get stung. There were loads there earlier. Loads of flying, flying things around. But yeah, we're just waiting. Just kind of annoying now, to be honest. Hi. How you doing? Fine, to be tipped. Lovely. Yeah. How do you want me? Okay, we are now being tipped. Curtains are open. We ended up not moving at all from where we was just now, which is good. So yeah, he's got a uh, an extendable forklift. You can offload me from the road. That's gravy. But because of where he's going with the location of it, from because he's obviously taking them off from here, driving them all the way in there. He's been a good couple of minutes already with one pallet, so I think we're going to be here for a good another 20, 30 minutes, I reckon, at least. You see, this is why I like flatbed work, because I could just jump straight back in my truck. I'm good to go. As soon as he's finished, I can go. But i got to... I can jump in the truck, but I've got to get back out again to close the curtains back up. So it's kind of like... Just stay out, I think. Plus, I've been sat in there for the last hour anyway, so... Stretch my legs. I have been on break for the entire hour that I've been waiting, so we don't need to stop now for a break later on. We've had that break. Uh, so whenever we find out, well, we're, whatever we find out we're doing next, we can just crack on, basically. Last one off. Let's do, uh, let's do the curtain back up. It's tipped. Curtains are closed. It's a uh, quarter to three. Just waiting for him to come back now with my paperwork. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, it's a couple of hours drive to Gravesend, so we're talking getting there for quarter to five. Um, not gonna happen, so we've just found out back to the yard. So, I mean, for me, that's good. Because um, I finished earlier. <laughs> so, for me, that's good. For the company, it's not so good. It's a bit of a drive back empty. Okay. Tips. Curtain's done up, paperwork signed. You need to be angled down a bit more there. Oh, what a day, what a day. So it's a three hour drive back to the yard, empty. You will arrive at your destination at 17.45. Quarter to six, ETA. So it's not like early. Beep. Plus we might get caught in traffic. Um, plus I've had nothing to eat. So I might even stop and get a sandwich on the way down. So, I mean, yeah, we, we, if, by the time we get back to the yard, yard and park up and then get home and stuff, it's going to be, um, well, like nearly seven o'clock, maybe. So, uh, tree there on the left. But you can go down. I don't want to get copyright strikes. Oh, my God, look at this tree. That's wow low. So it doesn't matter which way I go in. The trees are low. Jesus. That's low. Trailer's getting the worst of it. Um, I reckon you could probably park up here for the night. It seems quite quiet. <laughs> the cock. There's a pub there called The Cock. <laughs> ah, little things make me laugh. I would... Oh, we're gonna risk it and go out. There we go. 
It was a bit close, but we're just we're struggling to get out, so we had to uh, we had to do something. Anyway, so yes, we're we'll, uh, head back to the yard. Ten to six is currently ETA. We're going to get traffic on the way as well. Like I said, plus I want to stop, so I can't see me get back to the yard for more like half past six. We're gonna we've got to go up via the M25. Go up to the M25, around to the M3. Probably go back shot and then M4 that way, Redden. So yes. Plus I need to get our blues around the yard, so it's not it's not going to be an early finish, but. Like I was saying, for me, it, it could have been a lot later. If I did go to Gravesend and got loaded, then, um, yeah, we'd be talking like more like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. <laughs> so, never mind. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you a little bit later, probably when we get back in the yard, to be fair. Right. You join me back in the yard. We need to get some mad blue. Uh, but before we do that, I need to do some paperwork. I've not done any paperwork all week. So I need to spend five minutes doing that. Get all my paperwork together, get my, uh, my GoPros, fill it with our blue, and then we can uh, we can go. So yeah, let's crack on with that. <laughs> They've got people down there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, do the paperwork quickly, and I shall see you in a bit. Wait. Right, we're, uh, we're back, like I said. Filled it with our blue, done our paperwork. We got all our clothes and my bag on, and tied up the cab, parked it up, and we're now walking back to the car. We're just parked here all by ourselves, all on our own. And um, yeah, been a bit of a, what's the word? How's the day been? It's been all right, it's just things could have gone a bit better. You know, less waiting around, but it is what it is on a Friday. Uh, like I said, not getting loaded. Oh, sorry. Yeah, not getting loaded. Um, in Gravesend is actually meant I finished earlier. It's now what time is it? My watch has died. Ugh. So um, I've got no idea what time it is. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. Oh, turn that down. There we go. Yeah, seven o'clock at night, and um, we're just leaving now. Uh, uh, you know, admittedly, I've been in the yard for an hour chatting and doing stuff and filling up our blue and getting paperwork sorted. But if I did get uh, loaded in Gravesend in the end, as planned, I don't think I'd be back in the yard until like gone nine o'clock, and then all of that stuff wouldn't have been done. It'd be uh, it'd be too late. But never mind. It is what it is. Anyway, that's going to be the end of today's video. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button wherever it is. I want to say somewhere down here, probably down there. If you, uh, if you enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. Don't have to, but it does help me out. I'm on the road to 100,000. We're very close to 75,000 now. So, yeah, so uh, getting close to 100,000. So, yeah, please feel free to subscribe if you want. Leave a comment, leave a like, or dislike, whatever you like. Like, dislike, whatever you like. <laughs> That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon.